one of the other repairs that we're going to show today is a split pipe repair. If you have a piece of pipe that's broken in the middle, a lot of times if it's in a ditch, a muddy ditch, you're not going to get a PVC glue to work in that environment. It's going to be wet, muddy, dirty. Uh, you might not also be able to move the pipe from side to side without digging out a longer section of ditch to where you can get the pipe to flex to where you could get a coupling on that piece. In this case, what we do is actually split a coupling as demonstrated here. We've taken this coupling and cut it down the middle just past 180 degrees so it's not straight across we got a large piece and a smaller cap piece. The reason we're going to do that is without that pipe being aligned, it's going to give you a, a bad repair. So with that cap piece on the bottom, cut a little larger than the one on the top, they're going to snap in there and it's going to provide alignment on the pipe straight out from each other. Where that comes in handy is you can cut the section of damaged pipe out you're not going to be able to get them apart from each other, but you can cut two couplings, put a spool piece in the middle, and slip the cap up on the bottom with this material embedded in it. And I'm going to show you right now how quick that can happen. We've already prepped these pieces. We have the two pipes out from each other. Of course, we're going to have two because we're going to cut the damaged section out. This is simulating doing one repair per side. All right, what we're going to do to prep this, uh, our split piece here, we're going to go ahead and shoot this joint with the product. Now what we can do is actually take that piece, pipes in the ditch, we would just take and snap that up on there, on that side. And then there again, snap these pipes together with that piece underneath. Just, we'll just pull them right up and snap that piece in between the pipes. At that point, you can smooth that out. Prep your other piece. Pipe's already down in a ditch. You just snap this little baby right on there. Now, if you want to hold that down as a solid repair, at this point, you'd either put that the hose clamps over top of that, or you could take mechanical clamps and clamp them down over top. If there's a gap in the joint, you can always take it and fill it in with extra material and make it a solid repair all the way across. Simple as that. You can either use clamps Just going to put that pressure on there, and if you got a little smoothing up to do, you can do it at that time. Just wipe off any excess. There's a repair how it would appear in the ditch. As I said, at this point, you can also use hose clamps around there. Wait for it to cure. Do your pressure test to make sure your repair is good. There's no other leaks down the, down the line or up the line, and then bury the pipe, and you're done. I'm Stan McMurtry again, and I want to go over the repairs that we've conducted today. We went over skimmer repairs, interior pipe and housing, skimmer housing repairs, freeze damage of pipe repairs. We have masonry step repairs, which would be this type of step embedded in the masonry of the pool. 
We have vinyl liner step repairs of fiberglass or ABS plastic repairs. PVC light niche repairs. We have composite drop-in pool repairs, meaning if you have a fiberglass or one of the composite drop-in type pools, if they develop a crack, this is the product to repair that without draining the pool. We have fiberglass filter housing repairs. If they're freeze damaged, old filter housings can be repaired, interior or exterior patches with this. We have piping freeze damage repairs on, around the plumbing system on the pump, linear freeze damage repairs. It's as simple as squirting this product right into the crack and you're done. If you need a little more body or a stronger repair, you can add a fiberglass tape as we've shown on this flat repair on this side. Main drain sump repairs. Uh, we looked at that with the hydrostatic valve. If your threaded fitting that you put your hydrostat into is damaged, showed you how to add a female threaded adapter to the bottom of the sump. Boom, you got a brand new fitting to put your hydrostat into in the bottom of the pool. The repair is done. All of this done without draining the pool, using diving methods. It's easy to use underwater. It cures underwater. If you don't have to drain the pool, you don't have to put the water back in, you don't have to bring the water chemistry back around, you, you provide savings to the customer and a lot of value to the job. Many of the products in this video, H2O glue and all the other products are available from Chemical Concepts. This is a company with over 45 years experience in adhesives. You can visit us on the web at h2oglue.com.